As kids, we begged our parents to give us soda or juice, but they always gave us milk. Drink your milk or you won't grow taller, they said. As adults, we all know that milk is good for you, but that's pretty much it. We only know so little about milk and its benefits, and because of that, controversy has sprung up to ruin its reputation. So, what's the deal with milk anyways? What are its benefits and what are the negative claims around it? Today, in Greatness In You, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite lactose drink, milk. Don't forget to click like if you end up learning something new today. At the Greatness In You channel, we want you to discover your inner greatness and improve your way of life. That's the purpose of our videos. So, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to get more awesome content like this one. So, let's talk about milk during the time of our ancestors. Milk has been around for centuries now, and for good reason. They're filled with vitamins and minerals necessary for a person's survival. However, the only available milk during the time was breast milk, and it was a lot of effort for mothers to make. Eventually, they moved on to agricultural means by raising the first dairy animals, goats, sheep, and cattle. They fed these animals grass and other stuff which helped them produce nutritious and edible milk. Milk drinkers had a huge evolutionary advantage compared to non-drinkers. They were healthier and more likely to survive because of the nutrients they got from it. This advantage had something to do with the specialized enzyme produced by the body. This enzyme, called lactase, helps digest and break down lactose easily. Babies have a lot of these enzymes, but it gets fewer the older they got. Some people, however, are unable to produce these enzymes, which makes them lactose intolerant. This intolerance prevents them from drinking more than 150 milliliters a day. This proven to be a disadvantage, since people who are regular drinkers of milk were healthier and had more food at hand. Alright, milk is good for you. It's loaded with nutrients and fills you up. So why are they sometimes badly talked about? There have been claims that milk causes brittle bones, cancer, and cardiovascular diseases. They're also subject of allergies and, of course, intolerance. How do these claims hold up? There's been studies concerning the connection between milk and high risk of breast, colon, and prostate cancer, but meta-analyses show no correlation between them. On the contrary, the calcium in milk might play a huge role in protecting you from colon cancer, although it might be only about calcium in that milk itself. As for prostate cancer, some studies show an increased risk for people who drink more than one and one-fourth liter a day though the results of these studies were inconsistent. All in all, research shows that if you drink 100 to 250 milliliters of milk a day, then you shouldn't worry about cancer. Some studies also suggest the risk of high blood pressure might be reduced for regular milk drinkers. Although this isn't much evidence to support this claim, for bones, it gets a bit complicated as there's no studies to show either positive or negative effects towards adults. Milk generally contains nutrients and is good for you, but what about unnatural elements added to them? Some people are concerned about the levels of pesticide, antibiotics, and hormones in their milk. Milk does contain hormones, but just in very low concentration. To give you an idea, in order to get the same number of hormones as from the pill, you'll need to drink about 5,000 liters of milk. And even if you did manage to do that, most of them would get destroyed by your digestive system before it could affect you. For pesticides and antibiotics, there are regulations in most parts of the world that only allow completely harmless amounts. Anything that surprises these regulation amounts are trashed and will not reach your kitchen. So, there's nothing to worry about. The only real negative effects of milk aside from allergies and intolerance are acne and general discomfort after consuming milk or other dairy products. Skin milk has been found to increase the rate of acne by 24%. So, it's a good idea to stay away from it if you don't like your face filled with pimples. As for allergies, it's usually prevalent in children and tend to get better or disappear as they grow older. Also, it might contribute to being overweight since it contains tons of calories, so make sure to control your milk intake. Okay, so is milk good or bad for you? Milk is definitely good for you. It gives your body much needed vitamins and minerals such as calcium. It's also a great drink to fill up if you're hungry or low in energy. If you're not allergic, intolerant, or overweight, you should definitely try drinking it regularly. Additionally, milk shouldn't be a substitute for water and should be consumed in regular amounts. But even with all these benefits and advantages, there's only one thing we need to talk about, dairy production. The milk industry is a massive one, probably one of the biggest around the world. Its worldwide scale has contributed dangerous effects to the environment as well as animals. Dairy production solely contributes to 3% of the overall greenhouse gas emission. Although this has declined since the 1990s, the livestock used for this are also treated terribly. 
the cows are impregnated over and over, separated from their young at birth, and are disposed if they're deemed unfit for production. This is basically torture. If these things convinced you to stop drinking milk, don't worry. There are some alternatives you might want to try. Plant-based milk are becoming very popular these days. Plant-based varieties range from almond milk to rice milk. But if you want to have the same nutritional value and protein level as dairy milk, you can only get this in soy milk. Also, another option might be available soon as several startups are starting to create non-animal milk. This lab-grown milk contains the same value as regular milk and can be turned into cheese, something plant-based milk cannot do because they lack casein and wheat protein. As for its environmental impact, making these kinds of milk use less land, water, and other resources so that production is much safer compared to dairy production. To summarize, milk has been the center of controversies because of its positives as well as its negatives on both the human body and environment. And as people, it's up to us for us to decide what to do with these facts. What about you? Do you think milk is good or bad for you? Share them with us in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.